It is 46 minutes past the hour. Whether it's saving you money on something you already bought or finding the cheapest gas near you, we found some fun apps that, that help you live better now. So let's share. HLN Digital Lifestyles expert Mario Armstrong is on the Skype. Is that a Skype picture? That looks really nice. Yeah, thanks, Robin. Yeah. Perfect. Oh, my gosh. Um, okay, so Mario. Yes. Come on, give us. What, what did you find app-wise you think that is going to help us? You have one that tracks the prices of things that you buy, and it'll say, it's cheaper here or there? Yeah, absolutely. It's called Iona, E-Y-E-O-N-A. It's a free app. It's available. I know you love free, Robin. It's available on Android and Apple, so both devices are all covered. The good thing about this is you can actually take a picture of a barcode or a picture of an item and say, you know, if I buy this now and the price drops, I want to be alerted so I can get my difference back. Or better yet, you could actually set a price for an item that you're willing to pay and wait and see if that item actually hits that price and then be alerted. Like, it's really easy to use. It scans thousands and thousands of products from different stores all across the Internet, as well as regular traditional stores, too. Okay. All right. Next one, find the cheapest price on gas wherever you are. What's this one called? Oh, yes, Gas Buddy. A lot of people are going to be hopping in the car this holiday weekend, traveling, so you're looking for the cheapest gas. This app is also free on both Android and Apple. Helps you find the cheapest gas where you are. This really helps people that are traveling and may not know the area. You can look at a GPS map and lose your location, shows you the different gas prices, and you, too, can get rewarded if you report gas prices that you see through the app as well. You can earn rewards through the app. Really smart travel app for those that are going to be hitting the road looking to save a few bucks on gas. Okay, and then the, the post-it note of the smartphone age. It's yes, one app that I, you found. I, I love this app. It's called Evernote. I use this consistently. I use it for my research for our, our pieces that we do here, but I use it also for family fun things as well. It's like your brain can now be all placed in one device and you can capture everything that's important to you. So you can take pictures. You can even capture audio notes. If you take notes and you're used to having to try to find them and you can't really keep them in one location, this is the app for you. All right. So that's your favorite of those three? Uh, well, you know, they all have three different purposes, but I would have to say Evernote's probably the most productive and most used app for me. All right. So, and